John Pagano, what what do you do? this is your off season? What do you yeah. do in your off season? Do coaches really ever get a true off season? Uh, yeah, we do. We uh, you know we get a a chance to uh, you know get away from football. It's been uh, you know everybody asks me you know what the off season is. There is no off season. It's it, it's uh, you know we live twenty four seven football and it's a it's a year round deal. So this is a. A, a nice little break before training camp. The opportunity to recharge, mind focus. It, it doesn't stop. I was on my iPad today looking at Houston. So you're already on game one of the regular season. It's, it's I, it, football's constantly moving. So you're, you know, it's you pick it up for a little bit and then you put it away, or you, you look at certain scripts, look at the install for training camp and stuff like that. But. It, it, it's it, it's a nice time away from you know the facility and time quality time to spend with the family and and that's important. What was your strongest takeaway from uh, from mini camp? Uh, strongest takeaway, it just you know the the guys really uh, coming together in the second year and uh, really uh, you know the effort level's been tremendous. Uh, the technique that they're using that they play with it, it has been outstanding, but. Uh, you know, for the most part, really coming together as a unit. And, and that's what we're going to need for, you know, all 11 guys playing together. And that's what it's all about. And uh, I thought it was a great opportunity for them to uh, do those things. So it was nice. Before I ask you about conducting business on a golf course, I do want to ask you about Cam Thomas and your yeah. expectations for him this year. I mean, this is a, this should be hopefully a big year for him, replacing the big shoes of Antonio Gray and uh, Abreu Franklin. You know, Cam, Cam, somebody that's been here, he's understanding. He, he's uh, he's played some great football for us the last couple of years, and, and we're excited about that. And, it, and it's uh, it's about Cam's opportunity, and, and he's a player that uh, you know we're looking forward to him doing good things. Just go out and keep building on what he's developed as he has as a young player to where he's at now in this league, and that's that's something we expect from him. And. Uh, it's really no big step for him. He's going to go out and he's he's going to play more and he's going to play better. What did you tell Dwight Freeney? This is a guy, entire career in a 4-3, going to a 3-4, because he met with the Denver Broncos. He said Peyton Manning recruited him hard. But something about what you told him about, about how he was going to be used convinced him. That and the golf course at Torrey Pines. You know, I, I just think our whole situation here in San Diego, and uh, he, was, he was comfortable uh, with the coaching staff. He was comfortable with the players. That we had around, and and we did put a full court press out on them, and it, it was good. And uh, you know, we talked and we talked about schemes and football and what my you know philosophy, what our philosophy is in San Diego, and he liked that, and and it and it fit good for us, and uh, we're expecting you know big things from him. Tell me what that philosophy is. No, what philosophy? <laughs> I, 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 had to, I was going to try. It's off. I, I figured I'd catch you off your game. It's off season. You don't have your Marty shield on just yet. No, no Marty shield yet. But uh, no, everybody knows my philosophy. <laughs> everybody knows my philosophy. You just got to go look for it. Everyone except me, apparently. Okay, I got to ask you about Manti Teo. Then how much he's impressed you in, in, in what you have seen of him so far? I sound like a broken record, but the guy's got great instincts. He's uh, a, a very smart football player. He's looked good in shorts. Uh, doesn't everyone look good in shorts? You know, a lot of guys you can tell the difference that uh, when the pads come on or, or, or when, you know, running around in shorts. But, you know, he's somebody that we saw in college that played, you know, at a high level in pads and how we evaluated him. And then coming in here and picking up the system and for him to be able to learn as fast as he's learned. and. We're very excited about that. Now, before training camp starts, are you going to have a chance to hang out with your brother Chuck Pagano, get the Paganos t together, and do that thing, do whatever it is that I you guys think, do? Yeah, we're going to get together. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll meet somewhere. Uh, he's up uh, up seeing his family in Boise right now, Idaho. So uh, I'm excited when we get that chance to get together. He may come down here. We may, you know, fly somewhere and. Uh, it's good to see. I haven't seen him in a while, and I need to. Uh, we need to reconnect before this season starts. That's awesome. Now I'm gonna put you in the spot. Last year, before training camp started, I asked you, "Give me one player in defense to keep an eye out for," and you said Kendall Reyes. Yeah. And he had quite a year. I'm gonna ask you that same question. Who's yeah. the guy to keep an eye on, going into training camp? Uh, good lord. 
I would probably say Manti Teo. You know, he's, he's such – he's going to impact our defense so well, and, and he's so smart. We're, you know, we're really excited to see him go out and do the things that he's – that we drafted him to do. Thank you very much.